Hey there, I'm Logan Crockett from Marketing for Normal People, and we teach everyday people and professional marketers how to build campaigns, design websites, grow an audience, and get sales. And of course, you can't do any of that without knowing your most important tool, your computer. And when you need more space on your computer, you need an external hard drive or something like an SD card or a flash drive would accomplish the same general idea. But while you can plug a hard drive straight into your computer just fine, you can't just pull it right back out. The reason is some applications might be actively using the data from the hard drive, and if you pull it out, the apps could crash or they could lose all the data in your projects. So you always need to eject a hard drive from within your computer. Let me show you how to do that. So right here, I have a USB cable that is plugged into my computer, and so I will just I plug this end right into my external hard drive right there. Um, this is an external SSD for solid state drive. And so it's very fast. Anyway, um, I plug that in and as you can see, it came up right here. It came up in both places actually, right here under Logan's MacBook Air. And then it came up under uh, the side as well. So now we can go ahead and click on it. We can access the files in it, but I can't just pull it right back out. If I'm at a coffee shop and I need to pack up to go, I can't just pull this out because that could cause some problems. So to properly, um, to properly disconnect your hard drive from your computer, you need to do what is called ejecting it. And so that is just this little symbol right here. So if I click on the eject button, um, then it will eject. So I'll go ahead and do that. And Finder just went away. And so that means it did exactly what it's supposed to do. And if I pull Finder back up, then you'll see that the hard drive is no longer on the side. Now, if I plug it back in like this, then we should see it come up in the side again. Yep, and there it is. And so I'll go ahead and click on that. And then um, another thing you can do is in addition to clicking this little eject symbol right there, uh, we can actually also right click on my Mac. I'm gonna use two fingers uh, for a right click so I can right click right on it. And then I can go down and I can hit eject, eject um, SanDisk Extreme SSD. That's the name of the hard drive. So I can go ahead and do it that way too. Obviously that's the longer way, but there are two ways to do it just to show you that. So anyway, that is ejecting a hard drive. And so once you've done that, once it's not in the side here anymore, you can then safely go ahead and take it out. Now there is one special case that I wanna show you. So I'm gonna plug it back in. And if we actually uh, have a certain file open, so let's go and open a, let's open a logic project. So that'll come up. All right, there it is. And so now what will happen is if I go back to Finder and if I click eject, then what it's going to do is it's actually going to say, hey, this disk is, and we actually can't eject it right now because you have a program that is actively using it. So if you ever get a message like that, that just means some application, and it should usually say, just like it does here, Logic Pro, it should say what the application is. Um, but anyway, you just want to find that application and you want to save your work and, um, and or quit the application. So I'm just going to go ahead and go up here and I'm going to click on save. And then I'm going to click the X there. And then to quit all of Logic Pro, I'll just click quit right there. So I just um, hit hit that with right click. So again, that's two fingers on a Mac, two fingers at once, right click, and then I click quit. Anyway, so now Logic has been fully exited out of, it's been fully quit. And so now if I click eject, now it'll let me eject again. So that is something I see come up a lot. Um, sometimes people aren't exactly sure what to do with that if it says that the drive can't be ejected right now, there's a reason for that. So anyway, so we just ejected it, now we can unplug it, and now we can be on our way. So that's it. That's everything you need to know about ejecting a hard drive properly. But what if we need to do something else with it, like rename it? We don't want to keep this called SanDisk Extreme SSD forever. That's not particularly helpful. So if you want to see how to change the name of a drive, go ahead and click this video right here, and I'll show you how. And as always, if you want my free marketing crash course where I cover the new fundamentals of modern marketing that drive awareness, grow an audience, and get people to buy from you, go to marketingfornormalpeople.com or click or scan right here. Catch you later.